In the last lecture, we learned how to create a text index on a single field. But what if we want to create a text index on multiple fields in a collection? Is it possible? So we have already learned that we cannot have multiple text indexes on a collection. But what if we want to have a text index on multiple fields? Is that possible? That's what we are going to learn in this lecture. So let's go to Mongo shell. And before I show you whether it is possible to create a combined text indexes or not, and how we can do that if it is possible, let's first see how we can sort the result based on the best hit. So what I mean by that is, let's say from the products collection, we want to find all the documents where we want to search for, let's say, smart TV. Okay, if I go ahead and if I press enter, so somewhere we have missed something. Okay, we have missed a closing curly braces. If I go ahead and if I press enter here, you see it has returned us two documents. It has returned us Sony Smart TV and Apple Smartwatch. So this word smart, it is present in the description of both of these products. And the Smart TV, both of these two words is present in the first product. As you can see here, so here we have smart and here we have TV. And in the second document, we only have the word smart. And you will also see that these documents are sorted based on the best match. So for example, for this first product, it is the best match here because it has both smart and TV in it. And the second document is not the best match. It is the second best match because it only has smart in it. So based on that, MongoDB has also sorted the result. If I show you all the documents by simply using the find method, there you will see that this Apple smartwatch, it is the first document. Sony Smart TV is the second document and HP laptop is the third document. But in this result, where we have searched for Smart TV, there you will see that first it is returning Sony Smart TV and then Apple smartwatch. So based on the match, since this one is the best match here because it contains both the words, it has been displayed first. So based on the best match, the documents are also sorted. Now, how does MongoDB verify which document is the best match? Let me also show you that. So let's clear the shell here. And let's search for all the documents where in the description it has Smart TV. So here we are writing the filter criteria. Then let's also go ahead and let's use projection here. And what do we want to project here? Here we want to project score. This score is basically the match score which MongoDB provides for each matching document. And I'll show you that in a bit. So to this score, we need to pass an object. There we need to use a projection operator called meta. And here we want to use it to get the metadata of text score. So as I mentioned earlier, to each matching document, MongoDB also provides a text score. And that text score is provided based on how much the document matches with the search text. If I press enter, again, we have this error because we have missed the closing curly brace. So here, if I press enter, you will see that Sony Smart TV, it has a score of 1.25 and Apple Smartwatch, it has a score of 0.6. So in the filter criteria, in the search criteria, we have specified two words, smart and TV. The first document, in the description of the first document, we only have one word, which is smart. So that's why its score is 0.6. But in the description of second document, we have the word smart and TV. So both the words which we have specified in the search text. So that's why its score is higher. And that's why when we are trying to fetch the documents with this search criteria, you will see that the document which has higher score, it is coming first. In this case, Sony Smart TV is coming first here. Okay, and the document which has lower score, it is coming next. So here, Apple Smartwatch is coming next. So the document is already sorted, but if you still want to sort the documents, what you can do is you can use the sort method on that. To this sort method, you need to pass an object. 
in that object again you need to specify score to this you will pass another document where you will use dollar meta operator and to this we need to specify text score okay so this will also sort the result as you can see the result is sorted so if you manually want to sort the result you can use this sort method with this sort criteria otherwise the resulting document is already sorted based on the matching score all right so let me clear the shell here and now let's learn how we can create combined text indexes so as i have mentioned before you can only have one text index per collection if we check what are the indexes we have on the products collection and we can do that by simply calling get indexes method and here the collection name is products so on that we can call the get indexes method to check all the available indexes so currently we have two indexes on this products collection the first index is the default index on this underscore id field and the second index is the text index on the description field and here you can see this is the name of the index which is description text and you can also see the default language which is english and text index version it is three all right now if i try to create a new text index on this products collection as we learned one collection can only have one text index so here i am trying to create another text index on this products collection and i want to create this text index on the name field of the product document so to this name field since we want to create a text index we will assign text and if i go ahead and if i press enter we should get an error and this error simply means that on a single collection we cannot have more than one text index okay now since we cannot have more than one text index on a single collection and what we want is we want to use text index on both description and name so basically what we want is when we search for a text mongodb should look for that text in description as well as the name field so it should look for that text in both these fields so for that what we can do is we can create a single text index but that text index we can create on both name and description field so since we already have a text index here on this products collection we cannot create second text index so first we will drop this and to drop it again on the products collection we can call drop index method and to drop the index here we cannot go ahead and we can specify something like this for example description as text this will not work if i press enter you see here we are getting an error so we cannot drop a text index like normal indexes here what we need to do is we need to pass the name of the text index which we want to drop and in this case the name of the text index is description text so let's copy it and let's specify it here and now if we go ahead and if we press enter the index should be dropped let's check that so when i run this get indexes on the products collection now you can see we have only one index okay now let's go ahead and let's create a new text index so for that let's say db.products because we want to create a text index on the products collection and to create an index we use create index method here we want to create a text index on the name field so to this name field we will assign text and then we also want to create this text index on the description field so after comma we are specifying the second field and to that also we will assign text so here basically we are creating a compound index we are creating a compound index with multiple fields to create a text index and now if i go ahead and if i press enter a new index called name text description text has been created let me clear the shell here and what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a new product okay let's say this product is lg smart tv and let me also copy this description and in here i'm not going to use this smart word so smart i'm only going to use in the name field here let's say high quality okay 
let me go ahead and let me insert this document in the products collection so for that let's say db dot products dot insert one let's paste that object let's close the insert one method and let's press enter so a new document has been added okay now let's go ahead and let's search for the document using this dollar text and dollar search operator and here i want to search for this word smart now remember that here in this document in the products collection we have this first document whose title and description contains smarts in it then in the second document also the title and description contains smart in it the third document does not have smart in title or description and the fourth document has this word smart in title but not in description so here since we have added a text index on both description and name field it should look for this word smart basically this smart word in both name and description field of each document and it should return us all those documents whose either name contains the word smart or the description contains the word smart so if we go ahead and if we run this command we should get three documents here and that's what we have got so as you can see we have this sony smart tv we have apple smart watch and then we also have this lg smart tv but in the description here we don't have smart for these two documents in the description also we have the word smart but for this third document the smart word is not present in the description but still it is filtered because now we have added the text index on both description and the name field so in this way we can also create a text index by combining two or more fields so this is all about text indexes i hope from the last two lectures you have got a good idea of what is a text index and how it works and how it can be useful so text indexes allows you to search for a specific word or phrases within text content and it makes it ideal for applications that requires a powerful search capability all right so this is all from this lecture if you have any questions then feel free to ask it thank you for listening and have a great day